Okay, so we want to construct a quantity we call the action, and to do this, we will imagine that we have some object that is, say, dropped from some height h. It's an object of mass m. And we know that uh, ener if energy is conserved, then initially the object has potential energy mgh, and the energy will change form, but its value will remain constant. Now let's, so the energy is uh, kinetic plus potential. That will always be that value. But now let's think of another quantity that we call L, which is the difference of these two things. So it's kinetic minus potential. So when we are, say, at T equals zero, the beginning, and we let the object go, so um, at t equals zero, uh, this becomes, there's no kinetic, it's all potential, so we have uh, minus mgh, so we are at the top. Uh, and then, say, when the object is halfway down, it's going to be speeding up, and of course it will hit the ground with the maximum speed. Let's indicate the speed like that. Um, this will be half way down. Right? The energy is always the same, but this other quantity that we called L, which is the difference between the kinetic and the potential, this will look like now we have that the potential energy is mgh over 2, so we have a minus mgh over 2. And uh, the kinetic energy um, has to be, uh, has to satisfy this relationship where this whole thing has to be mgh. And so it follows that uh, t is equal to mgh minus u, which in this case, if the u is mgh over 2, then we have mgh minus mgh over 2. And so we have mgh over 2. And so we have mgh over 2 minus mgh over 2, and that quantity is 0. Um, and if we consider this uh, at the bottom, when the object hits ground level, then this L quantity, the potential energy is 0, so we have minus 0, and all of the energy must be in kinetic form, so this must be mgh, and of course we'll get that from here as well rather from here. So this L quantity goes from some initial negative value through zero and to a positive value. Uh, but let's now construct what we call the action, which is indicated as S, and that's the integral of this quantity over time. So in this case, we're at from some time, initial time t equals zero to some final time t, I don't know, bottom, something like that. Um, let's think about this object. We're integrating this L quantity, which initially is negative, it's changing over time and becoming positive. What kind of value do we get? We might think intuitively that we should get zero, but given the dynamics of the system, this will not be true because the object actually lives longer in regions where the potential is uh, larger. Right? The object is moving slower here and moving much faster here, so it goes through this region faster than it does through here. And so in a sense, we're weighing the negative values uh, more. And so, so the object lives longer in regions where L is negative. And so we are ultimately arguing that this kind of an object gets minimized. So we'll have some negative quantity here that we integrate for a longer time. So the action 
is minimized and ultimately we want to understand more why that is and it's going to simply reduce to the fact that ma is equal to f 